welcome to the Red Bull MotoGP Rookies Cup. We are here in Italy for the Italian GP in Mugello for the first time since 2014. Now, this will be a new track for all of our riders, but an old track for our ex-rookie, Fabio Di Gian Antonio, an Italian himself, who's going to give us a recce of this famous circuit. So we are in Mugello and uh, this track is really nice because uh, you never go flat because every time it's up the hill, down the hill and uh, with, with the Moto3 bikes and also Rookie Sky bikes that are similar, you, you have to be really careful to keep the right line to, to keep the speed because here it's is important to, to don't break so much, only keep the, the bike going and uh, especially in turn like uh, Casanova Zaelli or Arabiada, you have to keep the line exactly perfect to, to try to, to be as fast as possible. The last corner is important to, do f to go fast because you can, you can arrive in the, in the finish line first or, or second. It's the, it depends from uh, how you exit from the last corner and uh, that's it. Only uh, go fast, full gas and try to be the best. Well, grazie Fabio. Yesterday we had qualifying with Mekon Kawakami on pole, followed by Jan Onshu and Jerry Salim. Yeah, I'm very happy for my first sport. And I'm really, my feeling with the bike is really good. And thank you to Santi and my mechanic to, to do it possible. And on beginning of the, the qualifying, I saw that I was a little bit more fast on some part of corner. So I wait a little bit and I, I, get, in, I get in there and I could the, the first lap. And I'm very happy. Well, guys, va benissimo. I'd say we're ready to race. It's over to Neil McKenzie and Peter Clifford in the commentary box. They're all coming into position. They get under starters' orders. That's Chan and Jew. The red flag is up. The man walks off. We'll be watching for the lights to go on. They're on. And away. And all the front row get rolling well. Mekong Kawakami, Chan and Jew tucks in behind him. And it's Chan who takes the lead. As they change direction, he's taken the lead from Philip Salax to check. Salax has the advantage. Then it, Chan Anju comes up the inside. It's all on for the win now because there's nothing in it at all at the head of the field. Got slingshotted, thrown Whoa. right past Whoa. the end of the lead. And uh, Chan Anju is pushed wide there as they go around trying to reshuffle things. And I think it is. It's Yuka Kuni with that super double slipstream which propelled him not only past um, Salax and Yamanaka, but also past Chan Anju and into the lead. But late on the brakes is Chan Anju. Very, very late. Will he drift wide? He managed to turn it back just yeah. as he did early in the race is you say he's great at getting it turned in even when he has a wide approach three four five abreast over the hill challenger looking for a way down the inside he's not quite got a gap but he's gonna have a look Yuki Kuni is wide going in there, but Chan Anju picks up second place. You're on board with Chan Anju leading the Rookies Cup race here at Mugello. Look, oh, oh. Chan Anju, a big bobble for Chan Anju there, and he's drifted wide, but he saved it very, very well. He's only lost one place. It's all going to be now on the run to the finish, but Kuni maybe just has enough. Can Chan Anju get back in its slipstream enough to pick up and get past before the start and finish. It's all on now, it's all slipstream. Yuki Kuni has the advantage, he's playing it fair, he's not weaving all over the road, and I think he has it. Yuki Kuni from Chan and Ju, Adrian Carrasco, Carlos Tate, Jet, Hartigas. Absolutely fabulous race, down to 13th. Barry Baltus was 13th. The end of the first first position. I'm so happy. The first Red Bull Rookies Cup and first podium is victory. So I'm so very happy. The, thank you for Red Bull Rookies Cup stuff and my helper. Thank you.